Nobody likes a crappy Wi-Fi network, which is why today we're gonna fix that. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. As you know, we like to do various types of things on this channel. One of them is unbox new tech. Downstairs, I have a terrible Wi-Fi network coverage because I have my router right back here. You can see it right behind the monitor over there. But it's when you get downstairs near the corner where my smart TV is, the Wi-Fi drops off. So today, we finally got a Wi-Fi extender. In this particular case, it's the AC750 dual band range. It was 30 bucks on Amazon. We'll see how well it performs. But we're gonna unbox this thing, set it up, and see how well the performance increases downstairs in that corner. So, as usual, first things first, this is the AS750 dual band range, so it does have the support for 2.4 and a 5 gigahertz network. Essentials Edition, boost your existing Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi range extender. For those that don't know what these are, if you have poor Wi-Fi signal somewhere else in the house, you can put these in between and extend the Wi-Fi signal to get, uh, obviously, better performance. So, external antennas for better performance works with any Wi-Fi router. So, again, it picks up the existing Wi-Fi network and then broadcasts it, or you can you can put it into an access point, uh, but that's a little bit more complicated. So, supports new a 802 .11. AC and BGN Wi-Fi devices. So, so more or less every Wi-Fi band that there currently is. And then if we spin it over to the side here, you can see a, a ethernet port. So after you've got this set up, if you have something like a DirecTV receiver downstairs, you can plug it directly into this and uh, pull in the Wi-Fi network and then go into the receiver itself or the device itself. Or you can plug an ethernet cable into it and turn this into the access point or the AP, which then broadcasts its own uh, like little Wi-Fi network as well. So you can set it up in either direction, secure connection, WPS, power on and off buttons on the side there and this kind of gives you just a quick diagram of how it works so you've got your your existing Wi-Fi you can see that you don't put it outside the existing Wi-Fi network it has to be able to grab the network and extend it so you put it right there right around where the area starts getting uh, really slow or the performance starts to degrade as far as your current existing Wi-Fi and then it will boost the signal so you can see it just got some uh, information here two Wi-Fi modes Ethernet port external antennas 2.45 gigahertz uh, network interfaces reduce interface if we turn to this side same thing Netgear Genie smart setup, push and connect WPS, Wi-Fi analytics app. Uh, you can set it to turn on and off, which is pretty cool if you use the app. So if you want it on during certain point, points of the day, you can have it fire that on. Otherwise it turns uh, off at night. So like while you're sleeping, if you don't want your ex your network to extend outside your house while you're not being able to like monitor it or whatever, you can turn it off. Wall plug placement, of course, coverage control, fast lane technology. So it's just got a bunch of technology stuff. If you're uh, kind of a tech guru like I am, you might be interested in some of these specs. Uh, but yeah, as far as that goes, let's go ahead and open this thing up. You got your manual right here and from the reviews I've been reading online you will want to keep this. There are some very specific instructions in here that you'll want to follow to a T in order to get it to set up correctly and uh, so keep that handy because we'll need it as soon as we start uh, doing the setup. So and here's the device. It's so cute. Look how small that thing is. So it's very low profile from what they're saying which I mean it essentially is. Let's rip this thing open. So it's very simple plugs into the wall you've got two antennas that looks like you can move around and so they've got almost a full 360 and then they've got about a 90 degree you can do there buttons WPS PowerPoint if you need a factory reset it your buttons right there router power device WPS obviously it's a net gear so the uh, instructions in that will tell you it each one of these lights indicate something and we'll kind of go over that as we put this together but uh, without further ado let's set this bad boy up all right guys as you saw when we were unboxing you saw the unit itself I know this particular angle isn't exactly entertaining but that's because reading through some of the reviews on this thing um, a lot of people have been having issues with getting it connected for the first time so that's where the manual is going to come into play they said there's there's very specific instructions in this thing on how this actually works so you're going to want to go through and you're going to want to follow exactly what the instructions say now the first thing that you're going to want to do is of course when you're setting this up you want it in the exact same room as close enough to your wi-fi router or your modem as you can just for the initial setup and then we can move it to not where there's no wi-fi but usually right in between in order to uh, boost that signal so you can see right here where it says place the extender and apply the power uh, place your extender in the same room as your wi-fi router proximity to the wi-fi Wi-Fi router is only required during the initial setup process. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. We're gonna wait for the LED light to turn green. If the power light does not light, press the power on off button on the extender. So we're gonna go ahead and plug that in now. So again, we're just waiting for the power LED to light to turn green, which is actually this guy right, right next to that corner there. So. so as you can see, the light just went green right there. And we are gonna be con uh, connecting this to an existing Wi-Fi network. There's a few different ways you could put this uh, thing into. You can put it into an extender mode, which of course it grabs your, wi your current Wi-Fi and extends it or boosts the signal. And 
And then it does have what they call an access point. So if you have like your switch downstairs, you can plug a ethernet cord directly into the side right here. And this turns its own into its own like little Wi-Fi network. So if you have that ability, that's usually the best way to do it. Uh, from all the reviews I've been reading, that was the easiest way to get it all set up and actually work the best for them. So we're actually going to be putting this particular mode into the extender mode, but the, the signal downstairs is really poor. And I have an app. I downloaded the app just to kind of show you guys the signal down there. So if I bring this up, see if we can get it to zoom in on it there. You can see right here where it says last 66% signal and 57, 57 megabytes per second. That was downstairs in the furthest corner away from my router that I could go, which is right around the area of my TV, my uh, smart TV down there. So hopefully we're going to plug this in on the, the power cable or the outlet that's right next to the TV and hopefully be able to grab and extend this signal. So we're again, we're going to do a test right now. The last test was 66% at 57 megabytes per second. Once we get this thing up and going, we'll click test again and see how much of improvement this little box made. One thing to note that it does say in the instruction is connecting with the WPS. It does not support WB, WEP network security. So if you are using the web network security, you cannot use the WPS. You will need to either change your security or set it up via the web browser setup, which is on page nine of the manual. In this case, I do use the WEP security. So we're actually going to be doing this and connecting it with the browser setup. So again, uh, connecting with the web browser setup, it says use a Wi-Fi network manager on the computer. I'm reading this on page nine in the manual if you guys are following along. Uh, use a Wi-Fi network manager on a computer or Wi-Fi device to find and connect to the Netgear EXT uh, SSID Wi-Fi network. After the connection with the computer or Wi-Fi device is established, the device link LEDs light up. So the right, right here, this one will light up. Uh, launch a web browser and enter www.mywifiext.net in the address field of the browser. And so what we're gonna do is you can see on my phone here, we've got right here is the Netgear EXT. So we're gonna go ahead and click on connect on that one. Internet may not be available unsecured and that's okay. So we're gonna ignore that and we're going to launch a browser. So I've launched an incognito window on the browser and we are gonna go to mywifiext.net. And we're gonna go ahead and click on go. And you can see right here, it takes us to the Netgear website where it says new extender setup. We're of course gonna go ahead and click on that. Uh, looks like this does want you to create uh, some kind of Network Genie account. So I've got an account, so I'll go ahead and punch in that information. If you don't have one, you'll want to go through, fill out this information as well. Once you've got that signed in, you'll notice it's going to take you to the Netgear Genie, uh, Genie. It's going to take you to the Netgear Genie page and it's gonna ask you to what type of mode you want this thing in. You've got Wi-Fi extender or access point. We're gonna go ahead and click on Wi-Fi range extender and it's hard to see but it's loading right up there at the top now it's going to ask you to select an existing network that you would like to extend you can do the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz model with this particular model again this is the e ex the ac750 like ex3700 was that right yeah so this is the again this particular model is the ac750 ex3700 which will support up to 750 megabytes per second you can see right now it's listing all of the wi-fi networks in my area so i'm going to go ahead and choose the escape nigerian prince that's my 2.4 and then as far as the five gigahertz network, we're gonna connect them both. And this one's gonna be drop it like it's hotspot. And then we're gonna go ahead and click on next. For some reason the camera is having an issue focusing. Now it's gonna want you to put in your password for each of those networks. Once you've got your passwords in there, you can go ahead and click next on the bottom. Set in connection between the extender and your existing router. Please wait, we'll see if there's anything. It looks like we do have a green light on the device. Phone is still saying setting up the connection between the extender and your existing router. Please wait, so we'll see if that. Okay, once it has fully completed, you're gonna see that it's gonna give your SSID names, your Wi-Fi names, a 2GEXT, which means this stands for the extended. Unfortunately, this particular model does not allow you to have like seamless roaming. As far as I understand, it does have a different network uh, for each one. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on next, which is fine with me. I'm gonna have uh, very few items downstairs connected anyway. We're applying your settings. This may take a moment. Again, while this is applying, typically your phone, if it's a, you know, a newer device, if it sees a detector, a stronger signal, I have mine says to automatically connect to the strongest signal in the area. So if you're downstairs sitting next to the extender, your phone or your device should automatically connect to the strongest signal to give it the best one. And then of course, if it's a static like my TV or like any of my like Wi-Fi power strips or anything that's down there, those of course, we're just going to be co constantly connected. All right. As you can see, the device screen is now gone, but the WPS lit up and the power and we now have a router, a green light on the router. And then of course, uh, connect any Wi-Fi enabled device like you would connect them to your main network using the credentials below. Uh, it has your password and it will give you 
basically a summary of your uh, network names, your SSID, the security type that you're using, and the password that you use for the extended network. And then once you've done that, click the continue button after you've connected your Wi-Fi. There you go. As you can see, escape, and you can see the 5G EXT and the 2G EXT. Those are the extended networks. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect that. Let's do the escape Nigerian print since that's the one that we did the test on earlier today. And again, you're just gonna select the Wi-Fi network just like you did any other network on your phone. Select it, put in the password. And you can see that we've got a green light right here where it says escape Nigerian prints 2G EXT connected. So we are going to close this and I'm gonna go ahead and click on continue on the network genie. It does have uh, the passwords on there, so I'm not gonna be showing that screen, but uh, your extender has successfully connected to your existing Wi-Fi network. And then once you've completed, it's gonna take you to a registration page and then you've successfully completed installation. So now that that is all set up, I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of here and I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in downstairs next to the TV, do a test on it and see how well it extended the range of the Wi-Fi network. So if you remember at the beginning of the video, we had about 66% uh, and about 57 megabytes per second as far as speed goes. So if you remember at the beginning of the video, we were getting about 66% and about 57 megabytes megabytes per second. So because this is technically a new Wi-Fi name, the Netweer router, the app actually reset the stats. But you can see I did a couple of tests down there and we're getting right around 100% signal and 130, 115 megabytes per second, which is dang near doubling what I was getting down there before, which means the extender is, ex is doing exactly what I wanted it to do. Now I'm curious to see how well it's going to do after I start adding multiple devices and we're streaming like on Netflix down there. We've got all, all of our Wi-Fi plugs set up down there. And if we're downstairs like playing around on the computers or the laptops, so I'm curious to see how well the performance is gonna hold up while we have simultaneous devices down there. But so far, I'm quite happy. I tested out with the five gigahertz network as well. And I was getting about 130-ish on the five gigahertz network down there with about 66% as well. And then when I switched over on the app to the five gigahertz network, I was getting 100% signal and then I was getting roughly about 650 megabytes per second. So again, it's definitely doing its job. So far, I'm pretty happy with it. And overall, the setup was actually quite easy. Just make sure that you're going through the manual and following this thing because there are some very very uh, certain steps that you do need to follow to a T in order for you to get it to work correctly. Now I do know on some of the more expensive models, you do have the ability to have a simul uh, seamless uh, transition between Wi-Fi names. So you have just a single Wi-Fi name and your phone or your device will, will seamlessly transition between the two. Those ones are those ones run about $100 or so if I'm not mistaken, but this one was about 30 bucks that we picked up on Amazon. And with that, that wraps up today's video, bringing us into our question of the day. What other Wi-Fi extenders or boosters do you use? Leave your answers in the comment section below the video. If you like this video and you found it informing or entertaining, make sure to give it a thumbs up and check out some of the other videos that we have on this channel. We do a lot of stuff tech related from the unboxings that you saw today, from tech news over to tutorials and how to. So I'll link a couple over there on the right hand side of the screen for you. And of course, subscribe if you're not already and enable the bell notification so we don't miss out. So we, so you don't miss out on any type of future content and we will see you on the next one. Alexa, turn on studio lights. Okay. That's never gonna get old.